Hey, what is up everybody? It is AJ here and in today's video, I'm gonna teach you how to use Snapchat filters in Microsoft Teams. I do wanna caveat though, if you don't have these options available in your Microsoft team, you may have to speak to your IT team admin about getting this approved or getting the right license for your tenancy. With that being said, let's jump on the computer and see how to use Snapchat filters in Microsoft Teams. Whether you're on a PC or a Mac, the experience is the exact same. I'm on a Mac right now, but if you have a Windows PC, it's the exact same experience. Right now, we're about to jump into a meeting, got a meeting here with myself, and we can look at some of the video options from here. So before we hit the join now button, you can see next to our camera on off button, there is now an option called video effects. If we select on video effects, this is gonna bring up a small little pane where we can change the background, you know, have those virtual backgrounds. You can add a filter, or you can actually change some of the animations behind you. You can of course select on more video effects, and this is gonna pull up the pane on the right hand side. But let's jump into the Teams meeting, see what this looks like inside of the Teams meeting. So I'm gonna hit join now. Cool, so we've joined the team meeting and what you wanna to do to start customizing and putting those filters on is you're gonna go up into the top right hand corner and select on the option of more. Scroll down to where it says video effects, which is in the middle of your more options. And that pane is gonna appear on the right hand side again. This is where you used to choose simple background effects like the blur, but you can see you actually have a few more options here now. You have your standard background effects where we can just change the background behind us. I'll go back to the blur though. Um, you have green screen settings if you wanted to really uh, customize your green screen, but underneath that now you have this option called filters, and this is broken down into frames, styles, and Snapchat. So frames, when you're in a call by yourself, they don't actually look the best, but when you are in the call and other people are looking at them, uh, it looks a lot better. So just know that right now during this recording, it won't look perfect, but when you're in a call with people on there, it actually increases the resolution of these frames. But I'm gonna select on the animated purple by Microsoft and go apply. What you see is down the bottom, you get a bit of an animation, um, which actually shows just something different to look at. Uh, and there's a few of these uh, maybe color splash, let's add this. Um, doesn't look the best here, but when you are in a call, it will actually look a lot better for the participants of that call, the rainbow again. Uh, but let's actually just turn this off. They are kind of cool and it is kind of nice when you jump at a call, just adds a little bit more to it. Um, then next to frames, you have the option of styles and this really stylizes your video. So it's more of a, a few filters for you. You could go black and white, go apply gives you a nice, I guess, black and white uh, color. Vintage, I, if I'm on a call and I'm gonna use a style, I usually go for vintage. I do like uh, the color scheme there. Again, when you are on the call, the quality does improve. So right now this recording isn't doing it true justice. Um, and then when you go Snapchat, I think this is what we're all here for. You can see you get a range of Snapchat filters. Uh, let's go for the funny mushroom. Let's select on that. This may have to download to your computer if you haven't used it before. We're gonna go apply, give it a couple of seconds to apply, and then you can see you now have the funny mushroom, and it is quite good uh, in the way it actually frames itself, just like on your phone. Uh, you've got the lightning cheeks. You don't have as many options as what you would on Snapchat itself, but I think they've done a really good job of incorporating this feature um, in Microsoft Teams. Uh, let's see what this one looks like. Hey. Maybe this will be my next uh, presentation. I'll do it with these glasses on, who knows? Um, and then down the bottom, when you can see it actually has two faces here, that means if you had a second or third person with you, it would uh, actually pick up their faces as well. There you have it, it is that easy to use Snapchat filters in Microsoft Teams. Of course, like I said at the start of the video, if you don't have these options, you may have to talk to your IT admin about the license or at least turning on the settings in your Microsoft Teams. Of course, if you like this video, let me know by giving a thumbs up. If you want to supercharge to your computer, hit that subscribe button as well. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.